guys, as you know that we're on the ketogenic diet, and with that diet, I believe that you have to be creative and try different recipes because, you know, otherwise you'll get bored and kind of get off of it because you, you're tired of eating the same thing. So today I'm trying the cheeseburger casserole. Okay, as you can see, I've already um, pre-cooked my ground beef nice and brown. And I season it with black pepper, and then I have the seasoning salt. I have onion powder, and that's what I put in my ground beef um, as I cooked it. Okay, now I'm going to add some jalapeno peppers and some dill pickles that I've chopped up. I'm going to put that in my ground beef. And guys, I'm going to mix that. I've already put it, put it um, in my casserole dish which that's what I'm going to use um, to cook it in. So I'm just mixing the dill pickles and jalapeno peppers up in my dish. In a separate bowl, I have about six, I have six eggs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream to that. I'm going to add about a half of this container, which is one pint, so about a half of that. And then I'm gonna also add some mayo. That was probably, um, you know, that was probably about um, so almost a cup, not quite a cup. And I'm gonna stir the heavy whipping cream, eggs and mayo up really good. You want to mix it really well so it becomes nice and smooth. Get those muscles to work in. Guys, also in my ground beef, I'm going to put some diced tomatoes that I've already pre-diced. Go ahead and add those to my ground beef. Mix it really well and make it evenly distributed in my casserole dish. I'm going to continue to mix my eggs, heavy whipping cream, and mayo really well. And next, I'm going to add um, some French's mustard. I like French's, you know. I've always eaten French's, I, I think simply because my mom, she never purchase anything else but French's. My mom loves French's. So, that was just something passed along. So I got my mustard in it. I'm gonna change the color to like a light yellow. And I am also going to add a cup of shredded sharp cheese. I'm going to mix that in very well. Cheeseburger casserole. And this is what, this mixture is going to hold all the ingredients together. So now that I've finished mixing that in the bowl, what I'm going to do is put a layer of cheese. right in my bowl see that cheese I'm gonna mix the cheese a little bit in there I'm going to put a little more cheese. I like cheese, as you can see. I'm going to just mix it around in there like that. And I'm also take my mixture that we just blended together and evenly distribute on top 
like so. Now that we have all the ingredients in my casserole dish, what I'm going to do is add some more cheese on top of that. I think I'm going to get a little bit more cheese. I'm going to, it's like this, I mean this is good, but I think I'm going to get a little bit more cheese. And then guys, after that, my oven is already preheated, I'm going to stick it in the oven for about 40 minutes, and I'll get back with you guys after that. Okay guys, I've finished laying it with my cheese, and this is how it looks before I put it in the oven. Now I'm about to stick it in the oven for about 40 minutes, and I'll let you guys see how it turns out. okay guys after 40 minutes in the oven on 375 here is my final resort cheeseburger casserole and now we're gonna let it sit for a little while before we eat it and guys on our video see what swirl you will see us eat it and we'll let you know how it tastes have a great great day guys and by the way i love our one thing you can basically put whatever you want to put in it, whether it be onions, mushrooms, whatever you like in your cheeseburger, you can add those ingredients. So it's not um, just what I added, just to let you guys know that as well.